Hello and welcome. That lively reel was played by Don Lunny and friends at a memorable concert last year in the National Concert Hall in honour of Sean O'Reilly. You know, it's funny to think that most of the musicians who were playing there weren't even born when O'Reilly started his famous Kjoltori Huolan. In the late 1950s and early 60s, Irish traditional music was very much a poor relation and O'Reilly and his band have been credited with helping a revival in the music's fortunes. Now groups like the Chieftains are household names in many countries besides Ireland. De Danon and other traditional bands seem set to follow their example. The newest Irish rock sensation Hothouse Flowers have been influenced by the Irish language song tradition and Clannad from Donegal brought an Irish language song with traditional undertones into the British top ten. Clannad have also recorded with Bono of U2 who acknowledge a deep interest in traditional music. International names, too, have experimented with Irish music. Elvis Costello has recorded with Donald Lunny, and Kate Bush has used traditional musicians on several records. Paul McCartney has played with Paddy Maloney, as has Mick Jagger of the Rolling Stones. And Van Morrison has recently released a very successful record in conjunction with the Chieftains. So, Irish traditional music is obviously enjoying great popularity. But how healthy is it really? How much do we know about it? For instance, what about the tune we heard from Don Lunny and Friends a few moments ago? Well, we do know it's a reel, we know its name, the Maids of Mulla, and we know it came from Donegal. In fact, in this case, we know precisely who we have to thank for keeping that old tune alive. It's the late John Doherty, a travelling fiddle player who spent all his life on the mountain roads of Donegal working as a tinsmith and playing at house dances. <laughs> People like John Doherty kept music alive all over the country in the days before its present popularity. And it's now a source of worry to many that the individuality and regional styles of such older players may be lost if we don't document them properly. Although many institutions like UCD, RTE and Coltus Coltori Aaron have important collections of Irish music, up to now, no real breakthrough has been achieved in establishing a national archive for traditional music. But a recent development may help change that. Dire Straits, 